morning you guys happy saturday welcome back to another vlog we're just gonna do a day in the life today i'm gonna have i think a pretty chill saturday i do have plans with friends a little bit later this afternoon and then i have a nail appointment at 1 15 because it's time to get a nail refresh badly like these nails have lasted i think i got them the last week of january <laughs> and it's honestly the last week of february now so they've been on for a minute and last night my thumbnail broke off, so it is time to get these refreshed. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the nails today, so we'll figure that out sometime this morning. I need some nail inspo, and I need to look on Pinterest, but I'm just waking myself up this morning. I read for a while when I woke up in bed, and it is like my favorite thing to do in the morning. I've been reading The Inmate by Frieda McFadden, and it's so good. And since I'm reading on my, like the Kindle app on my iPad right now, I can see like three minutes left until end of chapter, like when I start a new chapter, or it'll be two minutes left until end of chapter. And I'm like, well, heck, I might as well just read another chapter. And then before I know it, I've read like 100 pages so that's been my routine recently and honestly i love reading on my ipad there is nothing better though than like the physical hardcover copy of the book to cozy up and read with but all the freedom mcfadden books are on kindle unlimited so that's really convenient and i freaking love her books but i'm gonna get a workout in this morning i'm gonna do arms and abs and then a warm-up on either the Stairmaster or the Tread for a bit. But yeah, I just wanted to kick off the vlog, say hello, and right now we're gonna finish up the coffee, wake myself up with my ice roller, and just get the morning started and head down to the gyms. to say this morning my arms are on fire i can hardly feel them right now like my biceps are twitching still that was such a good arm workout but i just made my post-workout drink you guys know i'm always having my creatine typically i'll do a creatine in bcaas but i actually got sent this creatine in a pr package it's the clean creatine by beam and the tangy orange flavor so freaking good i absolutely love it it honestly tastes like an orange creamsicle so i look forward to it every single time after my workout but the only thing with this is it does have its sucralose and I really try to watch my artificial sweetener intake and cut it out where I can. So usually I get the Truth BCAAs, which are on Amazon. I have like a whole Amazon storefront of all of my health and wellness favorites, like my protein powders that I love, the creatine, the BCAAs that I use. So usually I'll just take my plain creatine that I use and then add the BCAAs in it to give it some flavor because creatine on its own is literally just like nothing. It tastes exactly like water, but obviously it adds texture to water. So having it on its own is not fun at all it's just like a powder but these i've been absolutely loving i just love beam in general i take their beauty supplement which you guys know i was sponsored by them a few vlogs ago i love their beauty supplement i love their protein powder and their stuff is amazing and i think i still have an active discount code so i can leave a link down below for you guys if you want to check out some like quality health and wellness things but going to drink this make my protein oats for breakfast of course which i'm so excited because how random is this i was at home goods the other day and i found my favorite protein powder in the entire Hi world, I totally forgot about this because I thought they discontinued it. I used to always have this in college. If you guys watch my college vlogs, I think it was specifically like my senior year. I probably talked about this protein powder in nearly every single video. It is just so yummy. And I don't even remember like where I originally found it and got it from. I think it was Target, but it's the maple pecan donut flavored protein from the brand Natrieve and it's a grass fed whey protein powder. So good, it has probiotics in it. It's non-GMO, it's gluten free. There's two grams of collagen, 28 grams of protein. There's fiber packed within here. So it really has like all of those macronutrients that your body needs. So I freaking love it. And the taste is so good. I love it in my oats and also in smoothies, it's really good. I'm pretty picky about what protein powders I like because I never like things obviously that taste very chalky or have a very protein flavor to them. Very specific, but I freaking love this protein powder. I'm really not picky about whether I have whey protein or plant-based protein. The other protein powder that I use, I guess I'll just show you guys right now. I show it in some vlogs and on TikTok, but it's the Beam 100% vegan protein in the brown sugar oatmeal flavor. So good, they sent this in a PR package and I love, like this is another one of my favorite proteins. I also love like the consistency of it and everything. But yeah, really not picky. I find that 
to me it doesn't really make a difference i know some people think or feel that the whey protein hurts their stomach a little bit more which definitely makes sense but yeah this is just my personal favorite and i'm going to scour amazon to see if it's on there and i'll link it for you guys because how random like i found it at home goods and it was like 20 bucks and i was so happy so we are taking a trip down memory lane this morning and making my protein oats with my favorite protein <laughs> Oh my gosh, this smell is nostalgic. <laughs> about to head out the door i want to leave in like five minutes it's 12 25 so perfect timing i always underestimate how long it actually takes me to get ready so i'm kind of in a rush right now but for my outfit i just threw on these zara parachute pants and then this black bodysuit from abercrombie i love the straps on this because they're like thicker so i think it's more flattering but i was considering throwing this bomber jacket over my outfit i know this is way too fancy for the nail salon but I'll be meeting my friends after, so I just want to be all dressed and ready to go. Gosh, I don't know. This looks cute in the mirror, but I feel like not on camera. I don't know if this is going to be the vibe, but it's like 70 degrees out, so it's not warm enough, I feel like, to just wear this, but also I feel like a jacket kind of ruins the outfit. I don't know. We'll have to figure out before I leave. I'm just going to pack up my purse. I'm going to wear this. Actually, now that I think about it, this looks really cute with just the bag. I think we might just do this for the fit. And pack up all the things, my lipsticks, and then we'll be good to go. I still have no idea what I'm doing for my nails yet, so we'll figure that out once I'm in the parking lot of the nail salon. I need to take my little spritz. This is the perfume that I've been wearing recently. It's from Oak Essentials. It's the Rose Perfume. So good. It's actually called Cure. I think that's how you pronounce it. How cute is this packaging? I love it. I saw that they came out with the fragrances and instantly had to purchase. So I always love a good long lasting perfume and it's hard for me to find scents that last on me all day long. This one I will spray on before like a workout class and obviously I come back, freshen up and shower. And I was heading to bed the other night and I'm like, wait, this is still on my skin, like smelling so fresh, so clean. I love it. And they have like really nice other scents as well. You can actually purchase a sample fragrance scent. So it's like $10 and then you can figure out the fragrance that you really really like and then purchase the obviously full-size bottle of it so i'll leave a link down below you guys definitely need to check it out we all know i love oak essentials favorite skincare and now i'm obsessed with their fragrances also they have candles for your home or your apartment that also match the scents of the fragrance so how fun is that and i have a discount for you guys so you can get cheeky little discount of 15 percent off with the code lauren snyder 15 so definitely be sure to link it down below you guys and know i love the brand i always rave about them and i love this one because it has like a very unique approach to a floral scent. I'm not huge into floral scented perfumes, but I loved this one because it has notes of like florals and then also white leather. And just, it reminds me of a little boutique. Like that's the perfect way to put it. Just like a cute little boutique in California. I don't know. That's just where my mind wandered when I put this on and it smells so good. So definitely recommend checking it out, but we're going to head on out. I need to figure out the jacket to put on and then we will be good to go. I just got to the nail salon and I've been browsing Pinterest for nail inspo. I have a good idea of what I'm going to do and for the longest time I've been just doing like a solid color and then white chrome on top. It's just been my fallback and my go-to because you can't really go wrong with it. However, I think today I'm going to switch it up and do a nail design which I think will be really fun. I also love French tips as well but I find with those I get sick of them after like two weeks or so and my nails typically last three and a half weeks to a month long so I always like to get something that I'll love for that long and I saw this really pretty um, purple color. It's almost like a deep periwinkle, so I thought that would be pretty, and I could do that on all of my nails, but like I said, I kinda wanna switch it up, and I wouldn't like how this would look with chrome on top, so we're thinking this on two of the nails. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing, because I always have an idea, and then I'll go in there and most likely like completely change my mind, but today, definitely gotta do something fun, so we'll head on in and freshen them up.
these nails are so freaking cute you guys i was definitely feeling bold and brave in the nail salon today so we really switched it up i went with this periwinkle color which i think is so pretty and then the nail design i mean come on how fun are they? I just needed to switch it up a little bit than my typical pink nails that I usually get. But she delivered and she's going to be my new go-to nail girl because these were done in like 45 minutes and they look so good. But we're going to head on downtown now, meet up with my friends. I'm not even going to wear a jacket because honestly, it is so sunny out and it's putting me in the best mood ever. There's not a cloud in the sky and I'm just loving it. So it'll be a fun little afternoon. We're going to watch the lightning game, head over to Amso and just have a little girl's day. A bit later i just got back home it's like 6 30 right now and i was bringing some things up for my car and realized i didn't even show you guys the things that i got from the mall yesterday because i wasn't vlogging yesterday and i found some super cute things so we'll share everything that i got starting with pack sun which i haven't shopped there in so long but i do love the brandy melville sweatshirts so much and the mall or the pack sun at my mall carries brandy melville so i got a few crew necks and they're just the best i can't even describe how perfectly oversized they are i'm very particular with my crew necks as we all know this one is like a light gray georgetown crew neck which i like this one isn't as like heavy and oversized it's more like a lightweight type of crew neck i don't even know how to describe it but they're just so soft and I freaking love them. So I got this one and then this is more of that like heavy knit type of material. It reminds me or it's the same exact style as the Boston one that I always wear. That's like a I don't even like forest green type of color and I'm constantly wearing it because I just love how it fits and again it's like so cozy. So I got the navy blue with Newport one which I think would be so cute. Also I love how people style these under like long pea coats and stuff and kind of give them a street style look to them and also they have pockets like that's amazing. And then the last thing I got were these sweats from Brandy as well. They're just straight legged ivory colored sweatpants. Never have a nip sweats i'm always again wearing sweats like that and then nordstrom we hit up the skim section something about the international mall they will always be stocked up with skims every time i go there they always have so many different sizes and always are stocked with like the new arrivals and i had no idea that this was a new color look at this freaking purple you guys like we know i love the boyfriend collection that's what i always wear for bed at night and these i have so many I know I do, but they're worth every single penny and they're so comfortable. I decided to get this in a size medium this time because I typically get the large long sleeves just because I love that oversized cozy fit when I'm going to bed at night. And then the boxer shorts, I always get an extra small because I like the tighter fit. But these are the softest pajamas ever. I'm going to link them down below for you guys because I cannot rave about them enough. And I swear they're like my personality trait at this point. They're just the best. And I've washed them probably 50 times by now and they're still in as good of shape and you do not find that with a lot of places and like materials of stuff so i absolutely love these and then from sephora i got two different products i really wanted to be smart with what i was buying in there because there's so many like makeup products on the market right now that i'm like oh my god i want that or you see on tiktok so many makeup products that people rave about but i kept my list to a minimum and i just got a lip liner because i've been so into lip liners recently and just finding that perfect lip combo which i have a couple options and i love this lip liner so much i always like to have my like at least three different Different lip combos that I rotate through. So this one is the matte lip liner in the shade Creative from Rare Beauty. I've heard a lot of good things about the Rare Beauty lip liner, so I'm really interested to try this out. And then this is the Stay Do Blush in the shade Sweetie. And I've been wanting like a very bright poppy pink blush. I think this would be so pretty, especially for the spring and summertime. So I'm looking forward to that because I really tend to go for a lot of corally blushes or corally lip combos. I just feel as though coral looks really well with my skin tone and my hair color. So I always kind of gravitate towards the coral end, but we're gonna switch it up and try like a very pretty poppy pink blush. And then lastly, I stopped into Aerie and got some matching sets because we know me and my matching sets, like I love a cute matching loungewear set. And these are short sets which will be super nice. I thought these would be perfect for the beach and stuff. I just got this bright hot pink one and it's a quarter zip, which I love. And then these are the matching shorts. I love bright colors like this. And then this one just screams summertime. Like, are we kidding? So cute. And then these are the shorts. This is like a different type of material. This reminds me of the perfect thing to throw over like a swimsuit and wear for a cozy beach night. And then the, this is just what the zip up looks like. So that is everything that I got at the mall yesterday. I definitely would say it was a successful mall trip. So I can link everything down below for you guys. But when pull all this stuff away, honestly, probably chill for a bit and read, maybe 
make dinner kind of soon here. Of course, immediately I had to change into my comfy clothes, but I'm gonna have a poppy. They sent me a PR package and this is one of the mystery flavors, so I thought it'd be fun to try it out, but I didn't pop them into the refrigerator yet, so I need to grab some ice. I'm excited to see what flavor this is. Oh, it's definitely orange. <laughs> Something orange. They already have an orange flavor, so let's see. I freaking love poppy. This is called Romanticizing Your Saturday Nights. Ooh, that's really good. That's like orange creamsicle. You've really been in the orange mood recently. It tastes like an orange dream float. Like, that's identical to what it tastes like. I think I discovered my new favorite poppy flavor, whatever this one is. I think they're, I don't know when they're like announcing it, but hopefully soon. So bomb. like my favorite part of the day. I love taking off my makeup just as much as I like to actually do my makeup, but it's like 11.30 right now, so I am tired and my eyes cannot stay open any longer. I have about like an hour left of the book that I'm reading, but I was like, we, we can't finish it up tonight because I'm so sleepy. I just finished up this makeup balm. This is the uh, Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm from Verse. I really like this to take off all my makeup. I'm big into using like a makeup balm and then I'll double cleanse my skin to like get every ounce of makeup off my face. But I wanted to like do a little self-care night tonight and face mask and all of that. But I was like, mm, I'm way too tired to do that tonight. And plus tomorrow is Sunday night and that's usually when I like to do my everything shower and all self tan, all of that. So I think I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow and doing like a Sunday reset slash Sunday routine video because I know you guys love those vlogs and they're like one of my favorites to film. So we'll get our life together tomorrow, wash my bedding, do some grocery shopping, which I don't have to do like a major grocery shop. I just have to grab a few things from like Trader Joe's and stuff because I popped over to Costco yesterday and got like a lot of the veggies that I usually use in bulk and stuff which Costco's always the best for that. But, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I'm literally rubbing my eyes right now and just wanting, they're wanting to stay shut. Like, I cannot keep my eyes open, but we need to wash the face. So now that we have a freshly washed face, I'm putting on a little pimple patch. These are the best things ever. I just get them on Amazon, like the little Mighty Patches. So good. They make my zit, like, disappear overnight. And then we're just gonna use this face mask from Laneige because it's an overnight mask. I was gonna do the honey mask that I always use for Mocha Essentials, but I'm way too lazy tonight and I don't wanna have to wash it off in like 15 minutes. So we're just gonna do this like deep hydration one, which will be perfect because my skin has been super dry recently and we just wanna get it all of the hydration that it needs. And then we'll just wash it off in the morning. I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for skincare. I'll make myself tea, put on my red light, read for probably like 10 more minutes, maybe, maybe. But I definitely wanna make some tea and head to bed because I'm so tired. Thank you. 